Let's talk about some things that I'm not allowed to do because I'm fat. <laughs> Take that with a grain of salt. I'm not saying I can't do these things. I'm just saying when I do, I always get some interesting responses. Starting out strong, if you're fat, you're not allowed to say that you're fat because people will say, you're not fat, you're beautiful. Like, when did I say I was ugly? I think most people would agree that if you're fat, you don't really have features anymore. And I mean, granted, this woman definitely, I mean, her, her head is shaped like almost kind of like an arrowhead, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, she has a lot of forehead, but it's all right. You know, it's, it's completely all right. Like, I've never met a dude in my life that looked at a girl and was like, you know, man, she was perfect. She was funny. She was, she was charismatic. She was great in conversation. She had a banging body, but she had a 17 inch forehead. So I had to just not talk to her. Most guys don't really care about the forehead. Most dudes aren't accepting that foreheads are just a thing that comes with most girls nowadays. So if you're a lady and you think that you have a big forehead, most dudes don't really care. Um, and if they do care, they're being superficial because they probably have a big forehead or something is insecure about them as well. It's not a big deal. The point I'm making, having a big forehead is not a big deal. But one thing that is a big deal, no pun intended, is the weight. The weight is not going to be something that a lot of people are going to tolerate, men or women. It's just not very presentable for a lot of people. A lot of people want, like, there is a reason why health markers are usually seen as more attractive. It's because there's more longevity there. There's more somebody that you can show up for. That person doesn't have to deal with the problems of being fat. I don't know why these people are so caught up on this whole, like, oh, I'm fat. That, that, that means I'm beautiful, too. I, I mean, it just really depends. on If you're, like, 20 pounds over... Maybe you're probably a height, like, but even with 20 pounds over, I think that's probably physically impeding your beauty. Like if you were a nine, you'd probably be like an eight, if that makes any sense. So I think that, yeah, you could still be beautiful, but I think regardless of how you're looking at it, being overweight is just more of a debuff. So if you're already really, really, really attractive, having that extra weight on your body, though you still may be really attractive, I think it's actually downgrading your physical appearance. So I would always err on the side of, don't have the weight on your body because if you do you're just gonna look worse and especially if you're talking about it in the sense of beauty and all this other stuff like most people just don't want to date people that are fat just see fat's not like a bad word it's just factual like i'm just fat like it's that's fine you could say that there are a lot of people in the fat acceptance fat liberation communities though that do disagree with the word fat it is it's bipolar though depending on the person that you're talking to um the one i know for a fact that a lot of people don't like is obese because obese is more of a demeaning term for these people even though it's a medical term it's like saying penis or uh vagina almost right so I guess it's a little bit awkward to say like, damn, you're fat as opposed to damn, you're obese. Like there's a lot more to that, a lot more flavor to it. And also fat is more ambiguous. So when you say somebody is fat, that could literally mean anything. It could just be somebody that's like 10 or 15 pounds over, or it could be somebody that's, you know, bed bound that can't get up out of the bed anymore because they're so fat, they're physically incapable of doing such acts. So you, that's, there, there's that. But obesity is a very clear classification. Like you are so fat, you are literally dying. Like this is not a good thing. You are actually putting your life at risk daily by having this weight on your body so i guess that's more of a i guess there's more to it than that than being fat and like i said before fat is very ambiguous so if somebody called you fat you could be like yeah yeah already know i'm super fat mm, look at what i got back here you know like things like that it's, it's gonna be okay you got that jay leno a little bit of that jay leno going on i'm never allowed to think that a boy is flirting with me i feel like i have said to my friend like i'll have someone actually flirt with me and i'll be like this guy i feel like is flirting with me and they'll be like really like do you think so Just call your friends out, bro. What the fuck? Why are you airing out this dirty laundry when your friends are doing this? This is ob you're obviously you're thinking about a particular scenario in mind or multiple particular scenarios in mind. This this is less about a fat person problem and more so about your friends just suck a lot of dick. Like if you're out with your girlies or whoever you're out with and dudes are flirting with you and you think that he's flirting with you and then you go to your friends and go, oh my God, this guy is like this guy is like flirting with me. Oh my God. And then your friends go. <laughs> Oh, you think that he acts? Oh, I mean, yeah, maybe. <laughs> you sure though? I mean, I don't know. Uh, he's kind of—he kind of looks a height. Like you, maybe he was flirting with me. Like maybe he was trying to AOE flirt. Like he was trying to area effect. Like he, he, what he actually did was he started to flirt with you by trying to flirt with me. You know, like that was probably the main intention there. He was probably just trying to flirt with me. This just kind of sounds like a friend problem, not a fat girl problem, dude. Get better friends. Uh. I've literally had friends, like some of my best friends in high school, had their, like their boyfriends would flirt with me, like actively flirt with me. I, I want to know what they mean by flirt, because oftentimes dudes have a very, very hard time understanding what flirting is. And most dudes would consider like a girl even talking to them is like, oh my God, this girl like wants to have sex with me. She wants my dick 
in and around her mouth right now. A lot of dudes would consider that because a lot of dudes have absolutely no social interactions with women and they find a lot of women really, really intimidating. So when they find one that is like very, very friendly, which is just like a normal human being activity, they would consider that girl to be flirting with them. When in reality, it's not. It's just, just like a nice person. For women, um, I mean, I could see it on that particular side. Like, was he actually flirting with you? Maybe, maybe not. Like, it's not something as simple as like, so it can be ambiguous, right? Sometimes girls will get the wrong impression, but then I don't know. Like, if the guy's already in a relationship, why would you assume that he's flirting with you? What did he say? What are the key in in signifiers that would tell you that he's flirting with you? I don't know. Because I did that one dating video, and the girl was literally like, oh, this guy, like, said hello, and he was being really nice to me. I think he wanted me. I'm just like, dude, I don't fucking know. Or like, oh, yeah, um, he met, he was at the gym with his girlfriend, but I know he wanted me. And I'm just thinking, like, why why would you think that because he looked at you like what do you why would you say that like it's such a weird way of defining whether or not somebody is or is not flirting with you if somebody like looks at you or somebody waves hi or like comes up and says hey how you doing or whatever that's not them it, it, that's not them flirting it's just them being nice like i you, you, can you not be nice anymore without having sexual it, it, it's sexual identifiers behind it no i guess not but no, it could just be the person was just being nice. You never know, okay? Maybe your friends actually do know what they're talking about. I'm just saying, give them the benefit of the doubt or give an example. But it was just like funny. Like it's just, it's just Michelle. I just think you have, you have to get better friends, dude. If your friends are real deal out here just dismissing your flirtations because you're just so busky that they just can't believe that somebody would find you attractive enough to flirt with you, that's incredibly sad. Like these people should not just, they should not be your friends. I'm realizing now it's just because <laughs> I was fat, so it's like just a joke. That he or you could just lose weight. Damn, what happened to your eyebrow over here, dude? Why is it cut off? I mean, I guess I can't talk. My eyebrows are really fucked up. But you could always just like lose weight if you want to get male attention. I mean, a lot of dudes, most, see, the thing is, you have to know who you're marketing towards. And if you're marketing towards dudes, most guys are going to be attracted to women, physically speaking, first and foremost. I'm not saying that these other things are not going to be important too. Like, I'm sure that your personality or whatever the fuck, the gay stuff, that stuff's all there too. That's great. But most of the time, if you're attracting dudes, yeah, they want to look at something pretty for the most part. If you're fat, it's not going to help you. And it goes for like men and women on this particular front. Like, most people do not want to date somebody that's very, very overweight. So if you are very, very overweight, that's most definitely going to be a debuff for you. Lose some weight and then you'll get more options. Be interested in me. I'm definitely not allowed to say that I'm hungry first or like suggest. <laughs> These people will be overthinking this shit like crazy, dude. You can't say you're hungry first. Like even in your own mind, you can't say that. Like what if you're home alone? Like, damn, I guess I can't say I'm hungry because nobody else said it around me. You, like, you're 3D chessing something so hard, dude. How If you're around your friends and you have to think about stuff like this, that is very, very sad. Again, this probably is a good indicator for the people that are around you. Probably shouldn't be around you because this is, like, not something that normal people should have to deal with. If you're literally out here thinking, I wish one of my friends would tell me that she's hungry so I can then proceed to tell her that I am hungry as well so we can go out and get food. What if she's just not hungry that day? What if she ate food before you got there? Are you just like, fuck? Do you just like not get food for that entire day? Like, what do you... I guess, I guess that's what you do, right? You just like sit there and torment because you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't tell somebody that you're hungry. Like I get it, you're fat. So you probably face some like social stigma behind that because if people see that you're fat and you're hungry simultaneously, they'll go, huh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was fat. I knew, she, I know that's the reason why she's fat because she's always hungry. Like I get it, dude. But simultaneously, who are your friends? Why, why is this even a thing? So we go get food um, because clearly I'm like such a skinny little... Like, you only know if I'm fat by me being like, let's go get food. I don't know why this is such a fear that I have. It's, I, I, is this universal? Please let me know. This one's personally annoying to me. I Aren't these all personally annoying to you? It's just, okay, whatever. I, is this universal? Please let me know. This one's personally annoying to me. I feel like when you're fat, you're not allowed to say like that you're lazy or like you can't be lazy. Um... This really upsets me because I am lazy. I know. I know you are. Most people are intrinsically lazy. Most people want to do nothing, which is fine. Um, you should want to do nothing. But the thing that makes you a great person is having the ability to, to want to do nothing and still doing something, which is very, very powerful indeed. Like, I did a lot today. I know that I did a lot today, but that's okay because I, that means that tomorrow I'm not going to do as much, if that makes any sense. I don't think... 
I don't think these people understand what what we mean by fat people are lazy. I don't, I've met a lot of fat people that do a lot, like a lot, like in terms of running errands, working. They they do participate in the workforce and other stuff like that. They're taking care of their friends and families and things such and so forth. They do. The problem I see oftentimes when I see people say that they're lazy, it means in the sense of like you know that you have a problem, you know that there's a solution to the problem, you know that you can get rid of the fat right away like honestly it would just take you maybe a year depending on how fat you are for most people it would take like less than a year and you still do nothing about it that's laziness now you're contempt in your body that's not a good thing okay and oftentimes i see them go well it's my body it's my choice which is fine you can say that but it's also like do you not feel like you're responsible for other people around you like do you not have kids do you not have a wife do you not have like a family do you have not like a mother or father or cousin uncle whatever like there are people that rely on you fundamentally day by day even a job like what do you what like a job or even things such and so forth like you do realize that you owe them health you do realize that to a certain degree if you don't have health Everybody else around you gets perpetually perpetually fucked by big camel dicks while they eat like tons and tons of cactuses. It's not it's not a cute thing to flex. It's really not. So when I say that you guys are lazy, I mean it in the very general aspect of you guys do nothing to 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 actually to actually avail yourselves to like to 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 get some kind of elixir to fix these problems. You just sit there and you just continuously get fat and fat and I understand that a part of it is just being contempt I understand that a lot of it is like a lot of people here in America they work in professional jobs so they sit down all day and they perpetually work and work and work and work and they get out they eat fast food and they sit at home and like most of their day is just sitting down and it sucks because you should probably try to find it's not like it used to be like back in the day Back in the day, as in like 100 years ago and before, maybe 200 years ago and before, you had to actually go out because there was no cars and there was no transportation methods. I guess you could like suck on a horse and, you know, ride over there. But most of the people had to walk. So if you were walking, that was an excuse for you to burn calories. And burn calories they did because most jobs before like 100 years ago were just basically farming jobs, right? So you had to work outside all day. And when you weren't working outside all day, you were probably inside struggling to suck on the potato that you grew seven months ago. And that was a tough life. But nowadays, we are living in Western standards of work, which is sitting down, not doing anything. And a lot of people have these weird ideas about how these things work, right? It's very, very simple, because I see a lot of people nowadays say some dumb shit like, oh, you know, uh, 60, 60 years ago, men had more testosterone than they do now. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. But you got to also understand the standards are different. Back then, uh, you know, dudes were literally putting their mouth up to exhaust pipes, sucking on leaded gasoline and shit. Nowadays, we have different standards. We're not doing the outside work that we used to be doing. And because of that, there's probably not a, like if you're sitting down for 90 percent of your fucking day and you're expecting that your testosterone is going to be like 1000 nanograms per deciliter you're you're just lying to yourself you're crazy that's insane no you're not you're absolutely not your testosterone is probably going to be in the 500s or 400s that's just what it is because you don't need to you don't need it you just don't and to top it off you're fat too so that means your body's going to be uh, producing more testosterone sorry more estrogen it's going to produce less testosterone because you're fat everybody knows that so yes there are a lot of benefits uh to living in a westernized country but one of the defects is actually a, a, a defect attributed to our success like we're succeeding too hard is that we become sedentary we become fat and that's a, a problem and it's also a benefit so it's it's a give and take so you're gonna have to find scenarios and things such and so forth to try to find more activity in your life and then also it's really important to say this nutrition you have to understand nutrition it's not like it was 100 years ago when you didn't know what nutritions were because it wasn't really that important you were eating whatever you could because that was the only option nowadays we have plenty of options and you have to choose you have to pick and choose not like it was back then i get it you like donuts you like other things like that but there needs to be some form of limitation because you can't just eat whatever you want whenever you want i mean you can but you're just going to get fat and then you're going to come up with the same problems you're going to be perpetually unhealthy and your hormones are going to be down in the dumpster and you're going to be feeling like shit consistently but anyway i don't even know what this point of this video be was. lazy um this really upsets me because i am lazy like i'm not fat because i'm lazy or lazy because i'm fat i just like to sit and rot and fucking watch tiktok like is that that everybody does yeah everybody does and what i hate about tiktok and like even youtube shorts to a certain degree is that you don't really absorb any like there's nothing there you know what i'm talking about like if you watch a one minute video of a guy making some clam chowder like did you really pick up any on any information at all like there's nothing intrinsically valuable about it now i understand that tiktok does now have 
like five minute videos or 10 minute videos, but most people are still watching the one minute, three minute videos. And there's really not much there. Like you're not really absorbing much information. You're literally scrolling for hours, watching literally nothing at all. It's decreasing your attention span. So it's going to make you more irritable when you're actually in a situation where you need patience, but you don't have patience because you've been watching TikToks for like literally a year and a half. And there've only been one minute. So when somebody confronts you about something that you need to do right now, you just can't do it because guess what? You've been conditioned to believe that your, your attention span is like, one minute long attention spans. It really sucks. But that's what we do nowadays, right? That's just how we are. And uh, for somebody like this to say, like, I just want to sit down all day and watch TikToks. I know everybody does, dude. Everybody does. You're not unique in that. Okay. But what makes you unique is saying, okay, I will do this one day, but not right now because I have to earn it. Today, I have to do other stuff. I have to run errands. I have to work. I have to cook. I have to clean. I have to do my dishes. I have to do my laundry. And I also have to drink water. I have to incentivize that my body is in good working condition. And so because of all those things, I'm going to earn the watching TikTok for a solid day, which is fine if that's what you want to do. Like there are plenty of habits that I'm sure that we, me and you both do that are not the best thing to do, but we still do it anyway because there are vices. Some people smoke weed. Some people do heroin. Some people suck dick. I like playing video games and you probably like doing other things, whatever. Or maybe you like sucking dick and do heroin, but I don't know. That's not for me. The point I'm making is we all have problems and the difference is like earn those problems, earn those or earn the ability to do that stuff. In the same way, like if you want to go out and you want to eat food, that's really disgusting, like Big Macs and QPs and shit like that and McDonald's, you can go ahead and do that, but just don't do it so often that it's, you're not rewarding yourself with it. You're doing nothing to reward yourself with something special. There's, there's no point. You're just rewarding bad behavior. Take time, be responsible, do what you got to do. And then on that one day or two days out of the week, then you can like sit down and scroll TikTok for seven hours and go to sleep, I guess. I don't. Hard. It's cute and fun when a skinny girl does it. And she's just like self-care, like self-care vibes. I don't think anybody sitting down and watching TikTok for nine hours straight is a good thing. Okay. I just don't think it's a good thing unless you're getting paid to do it, <laughs> which I don't know who's going to get paid to sit down and watch TikToks for nine hours, but I'm sure that somebody out there is doing it, right? that's not good regardless in the same way that when you ever watch the what i eat in a day what i eat in a day videos i see thin girls like if you go on tiktok and talk type in what i eat a day thin girl edition you'll find a whole bunch of thin girls eating nine thousand calories and it's crazy but they don't get the same amount of attention as the fat girls because one the fat girls are already suffering from the facts that they are eating a ton of food i'm sure there's the what i eat in a day for men too right but most of the what i eat in a day videos it's predominantly women so if you're watching these What I Eat in a Day videos, the, the smaller women have a little bit more leeway, right? And that's because they're not suffering from the negative effects of obesity. And because they're thin, they probably have good nutritional understanding in general. And if they don't, then they're just lucky, I guess, or whatever the fuck. Maybe they're just, you know, defaulting it. But for being fat and then also doing that stuff, you're in a different category. So when I hear people go, oh, but the thin girls can do this, but I can't, you're in a different classification. You can't expect to be treated the same as the thin girls because you're not in the same category. So obviously you're gonna be treated differently. You're not You're not the same person. You're just not. But when I do it, That'd like be like me going like, how come, you know, how come anytime I go to the woman's bathroom, I always get called out on it. But when a woman goes in the woman's bathroom, I just, they never get called. It's crazy. Like, what is going on right now? I mean, I just walked in with my big ass meat hanging out. I didn't know that it was going to be a big problem. I do it all the time in a men's bathroom. I thought it was going to be equal on this side. You know, egalitarianism or something like that. No, obviously not, dude. You're two different people. You have different standards. Things are not going to apply equally across the board. People are like, go to the fucking gym or stop eating. True. Like, what? I, I don't like it when people don't do anything or they don't explain why it's wrong. They just go, <laughs> I guess I don't know like they just want me to like work out and eat less uh, I don't know what do you mean you don't know what is that why are you throwing up your hands as if like that's like a crazy ass question that is the definitive thing you do diet and exercise in that order 90% diet 10% exercise that is literally the entire scope of losing weight for some reason these people want to make it very very like convoluted and try to make it seem like it's a, a, above and beyond to lose weight nah it's really not just like walk more <laughs> and eat a little bit less and then you'll lose weight i've been thinking a lot about what it is to be like bigger and how just general society treats i thought that was like chest hair did anybody else see this and thought it was chest hair this like nordic tattoo or whatever this thing is her hair is really nice bro us as her pariahs but 
but also this has- is like got to be really awkward because I think somebody's like recording her given the fact that the camera moved around so much which is really awkward I don't like when people record me because it's like dude I know I'm gonna sound really awkward and shit like that and I might fuck up but maybe it's her husband or something like that I know she's getting married hashtag uh what's her name queen besties queen queen best says hashtag have a good wedding i believe in you even though you're fat and you know you made a whole series about being a fat bride how long are you supposed to be a bride by the way like she's been a bride for like a year like i mean not a bride sorry a fiance a fiance and also i want to point out god damn it she got to do something about these overlining on the lips it's too goddamn much i'm sick of seeing this woman come on with her two three chins and this goddamn overline it's too much okay you gotta literally look in the mirror when you apply this shit and scrape off the top layer on the top part of your lip this is ridiculous you have way too much going on anyway and how just general society treats us as her pariahs but but also how to treat us in our passing and that's one thing I've been, I am so scared about. Not that I'm going to pass early because you can't, you can't determine that. You can't determine that, but you have to at least understand that you're progressing the illnesses of early death because you're obese. Like, I, I, it, why is that never something they want to talk about, man? Being fat is literally, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the percentage is depending on how fat you are. But I, I would go as far as to say it's like a 5 to 20% increased likelihood of death. People pass all the time, all very different ages, right? Um, but it's, it's also really disingenuous to be like, oh, well, you never know exactly when you're going to die because everybody dies differently and sometimes things just happen and things like that. Like, yeah, that's true. But what you're doing is you're trying to take away responsibility from you actually doing something to better yourself, to get yourself away from the early death. You know what I'm talking about? That's like somebody going like, oh, I'm not going to go to work today because I can just call out whenever I want at any time I want because I have these these things. But like, maybe that's a bad analogy. But what I'm basically hearing is like, you're gonna die anyway, so like, how do we know when you're gonna die exactly? Well, you do realize that you're being fat is most definitely expediting that process. But I understand why you're saying that because you're trying to take away the responsibility from your health, basically. Very interesting how only one group of people get empathy and the other group are told that they deserve it, right? No, it's not that you deserve it, but you have to expect that to a certain degree that you're doing this harm to your body in the same way that, for instance, I don't fucking know, dude. Let's just say like somebody does a whole bunch of cocaine, right? They 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 blow cocaine up their nose and then the, this part, the front part of their thing, they they blow that out. Because you could, this part of your nose can literally just fall out or something like that. And I go, well, that's what happens when you do all that drugs and all that stuff. And they go, is that what, so you think I deserve this? Yeah, I mean, to a certain degree. Yeah, I think so. If you're fat and you die early because of the effects, I dropped my pen. You die early because of the effects of obesity, quite naturally, yeah, to a certain degree, you did do this to yourself. Yeah, not like wholly, because there's a ton of stuff that affects the bodily function of somebody's death. Sure, there are plenty of things that can like contribute to it. But being fat is most definitely negatively affecting you in some dramatic way. So when you say like, so you think I deserve it? kind of like to a certain degree not it's not that you deserve i don't want anybody to die but you can't expect like that'd be like you driving off the road in like a ditch or something like that right you know that you get like at any point the car could just like flip over but and it does flip over and i go well why were you driving in the ditch you go you're victim blaming me you think that i did you think i deserve this you were driving on a dirt road like what do you, it's like going to a gay club and expecting not to get hit on when you're big meated and you look like a, a very stylish gentleman what do you want why'd you even show up if you didn't want to get hit by hit on by gay men what is the point like why are you here it's the same thing here like if you're very very fat and you want empathy from people that see you pass or die. That's, I mean, sure. Like, that's fine. I understand what you're saying. But, dude, like, you, what are you expecting? You're expecting, like, very unreasonable stuff. It's not centered in reality. If you have a young, fit, thin. Yeah, because all that stuff signifies a lot of responsibility. That person is actually taking care of themselves. Well, maybe not young because you can't really do anything about being young. But young, fit thin whatever yeah that's all like stuff that means you're taking care of yourself as opposed to uh, as opposed to what young fat unhealthy yeah you didn't do anything like you just kind of just sat there guy he has a heart attack while running but he did everything right true he did everything right oh my god yeah this overline is actually making me upset oh what, what a horrible way to go 
But if a plus size person was to also have a heart attack, do I don't know, going for a hike, for example, or maybe ain't no fat person going for a hike. That's crazy as fuck. Why are you even saying that, dude? Fat person going for a hike? More like that fat person was walking up some stairs and had a heart attack. It's not the same. I don't know why these people always feel the need to be like putting themselves in the same category as thin people. If you're a young, thin healthy guy and you have a heart attack that probably means you had some underlying issues at some point and something happened right okay that sucks but if you're fat and you have a heart attack for whatever reason are you going to really sit there and tell me that the obesity didn't contribute that contribute to that in some particular type of way is that not a debuff in and of itself maybe maybe not maybe it was some kind of other illness but most people know that if you're fat that's going to contribute to some type of harm to your body so quite naturally yeah dude i i bet that this is like a common thing yeah man nobody's gonna give you any type of like oh yeah wow like that thin guy died of a heart attack and so did like rebecca or whoever the fuck died of a heart attack but rebecca was like 400 pounds yeah so like the guy that was thin and working on himself like i should feel i should feel the same like no dude that that woman didn't do shit she was just sitting down all day okay whatever dude maybe not even that maybe just doing the shopping Oh well. Yeah, you know you had you know you know you had to do the shopping, bro. Ain't no way you go sit there and try to say she was hiking. Look at that. Look at that crazy dichotomy. Oh, you know, she maybe she was hiking. Or or at the grocery store. Wow. Wow, that's like that's a wow, that's kind of like a really big two dynamics. Like I don't even know how they, they're not even connected really. For a hike, for example, or maybe maybe not even that, maybe just doing the shopping. Oh well, you know, they obviously didn't look after themselves, did they? True. Even though they both passed at the same age. Even though they both pass because of the same reason. Yeah, they're not the same reason usually because if a guy is thin and he is healthy in all intents and purposes, he's healthy and he has a heart attack, that means that there was something wrong. Like there was some underlying issue, whether that be hereditary or maybe something that he didn't notice or something that never got caught or whatever it is. Sure, that can all be a thing. But like being fat, are you really – it's just like – it's like looking at a really, really perfectly good car, right? It's like looking at a very new car, like a 2024 – uh, I don't fucking know. Like, uh, let's say like an Impala, a 2024 Impala. Do they make Impalas anymore? I don't know. Whatever. They, the 2024 Impala, brand new, fresh off the line, beautiful car, no problems at all compared to like, let's say a 20, let's say another 2024, but this car is beat up. It's got, it's a muffler's hanging off, right? The catalyst converter's been cut out because somebody tried to fucking steal that shit to, to, hide, to get all the copper out of the thing. Or, you know, the door's hanging off, the check engine light's on. And I'm looking at these two cars, and I'm going, the 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 Impala breaks down, and so does the other Impala. But they're, and I'm looking at that, and I'm going, wow, that's really tough. That the new Impala, the brand new Impala, that cost forty, fifty thousand dollars, this brand new car broke down, but this other Impala, which was missing all of its features, that was like beat the fuck up. I'm supposed to feel the same? Nah. Nah, it's just not the same. It's really not the same. You're in two different classifications. And I know that you really want to be in that same classification as that person that actually works on themselves. But that's a crazy ass thing to try to compare yourself to because it's not even anywhere close. We determine one is more worthy of life and empathy and sympathy. It's not that they're worthy of life. That's a crazy ass thing. Like nobody is technically worthy of life. What they, what they, but it, it, you know, you have life, and that's an anomaly, which is great. I'm not saying you shouldn't have life. I think you should. Thank you so much for being here. But you can't like. Obviously, certain people are gonna have a little bit more value depending on, but depending on the death circumstances and things such and so forth. If you die of a heart attack, okay, let's just keep going. And grief, and the other one is well, that was your punishment, even though it's the exact same demand. It's not the exact same thing. It's really not. Like, if you're fatter, you're going to have more problems. You're going to have more health. Just simply being fat, even if you didn't want to look at the underlying issues, like, internally, you're literally going to have back problems, joint problems. You're going to have tons of, like, you're going to have high blood pressure. And then internally, you might have some shit fucked up as well. Your hormones and things such and so forth. So even baseline, you're going to be dealing with unhealthy. You're going to be dealing with problems. So you literally are comparing yourself to somebody that's the epitome of health. It's craziness. But go off, Queen. Do you hear it? Anyway, and I worry that if I was to go, you know, it'd be... It'd be the, the person buying a camera, is he going like, ah, oh, damn, um, I gotta keep it a buck. Uh, none of that really made sense. Like, are you sure you want to make this video? Like, you really didn't make any sense at all. Like, nobody behind a camera is going to help her say that. Nobody, huh? The car accident, or maybe, you know, maybe a heart attack, maybe cancer. I don't know. I can't predict the future. But if I was to 
to pass. Um, my family would have to deal with that barrage of shit. Very early in my TikTok career, I posted a video because a plus size woman who was on like some kind of like salon reality show, she passed from a heart attack at like 30 something. Yeah, yeah. And the comments under that were disgusting. And all I thought was that woman's family is going to be reading those comments about their child. You're virtue signaling so fucking hard right now. Why should I have to care about whether or not somebody's family is going to feel bad or not if all I'm doing is like pointing out some factual statements? Like, I know the one she's talking about, the reality TV star. She's talking about that one that had the salon that physically could not get out of the chair. I think she was like, 500 pounds but i think at her most she was like fucking 700 pounds or something like that i don't know but she was very very fat and that was like her whole thing like she was very obese and she did lose some weight but she did die at like 32 33 years old which is very very sad i don't want anybody to die obviously with the exception of really bad people but it's 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 obvious that this person is going to get some kind of a backlash, bro. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Sword. Like i'm not going to feel bad for somebody that like wanted to eat this crazy denomination of food and like if, if you're somebody listen listen okay if you're somebody that eats a crazy amount of food and you get very very obese and then you have this like i'm gonna you know what even though i've been doing this for a really long time i'm gonna cut my losses and i'm gonna lose that weight that's beautiful that's great but you have to at least acknowledge that if you do that you're still going to be suffering from the negative effects of that weight being on your body for the, as long as it was so you still have to deal with the problems that you did have. And that's usually, that's what happened with that woman. I mean, granted, she was like still 400, 500 pounds, which is crazy. But still, she cut her losses. She tried to lose weight and she still died. That should be a warning sign to people all over the world. Like, it doesn't matter if you lose the weight. If you had that weight on you for a prolonged period of time and your body just couldn't handle it, it may, just, it may not be practical. Like, in the sense of like, I'm, I think everybody should lose weight. But just understand, think about all that damage that's doing to your body, staying with that size for as long as you were. It's going to cause some problems, right? So if you're sitting there and you're telling me like, oh, she got all these bad comments because she died. Dude, the woman was like 500, 600, 700 pounds. She literally couldn't even get out of the chair. The entire show was just dedicated to just her being in a chair and just yelling. Okay? And now granted, I'm not saying that she should have died. I don't think that she should have died. But you can't sit there and expect people to look at that and go... Yeah, oh, she's, oh, wow, this was unexpected. This is crazy. I can't believe that she died. Dude, she was fucking, she was like fucking 500 pounds. She was like 500 fucking pounds. She was massive, okay? Like, naturally, her fucking body had to pump like five, six, seven, eight, nine times more blood than your fucking body. And it's like, what? It's just really disingenuous to say that, dude. I don't, what you're basically doing right now is you're trying to take away the responsibility for people because it may make them feel bad or it may make their family feel bad when the reality of the situation is i don't give a fuck if it makes you feel bad you at least have to know the reality of the situation if your family feels bad that you passed away and people are saying mean things to you on the internet that's what the internet is i mean regardless of who you are you're going to get mean comments and people that say mean things to you it might be worse depending on if you're fat or what whatever but What's your? Why would you even go this far? Like this is not. This is a non-talking point. Woman's family is going to be reading those comments about their child, their their sister, their their wife. First of all, she was thirty something years old. She was in her mid thirties, bro. Okay, she was. Did you think that her family didn't know about it? Did you think her family didn't know about her being fat? At some point, you got to let people live. Okay, like there's only so much you can do. If you know that this is bad, and you tell somebody in your life, hey, um. Yeah, this is not good. You're you're very overweight. You're, this is gonna be a problem. And like you keep telling them, you keep telling them, you keep telling them. Eventually, you just go fuck them. I'm just like whatever. I can't do anything about it. As their life, that's what they're gonna do. And they're gonna do it. And they're gonna do whatever they want. You know how many people I know that smoke that smoke cigarettes? And I tell them it's not a good thing. And they keep smoking. Whatever. That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. If they suffer the consequences of that stuff, that's them. I don't feel bad about it because I already tried to. It's not my fault. So. If I'm going to tell you that I told you so, I understand that's not good. It, it may not be as satisfying as nobody saying anything because you ain't got nothing nice to say. Don't say anything. But that's entirely absent on the internet. People are going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. And I'm sure you would even say something too. Like, I'm, I'm sure that this woman said I told you so many, many times too. But anyway. You know, their aunt who's just passed, and they're going to have to read this disgusting hatred. Hatred about their child's passing and I what is the point of this video bro like don't say mean things to people because it could make somebody else feel bad don't we already notice dude like but you know what's really funny 
is that if it was something that was just regular, like if somebody died and people on the internet are like, ah, fucking so-and-so died. I bet he's sucking dick and whatever. Like, oh, I bet he's gay too. Whoa. He should have lotioned himself. You know, or unless somebody broke their bones or something like, ah, I should have drank some more fucking milk, you calcium deficiency bitch, right? That stuff's like unwarranted and it's pretty fucked up, sure. But this in this particular scenario, if somebody dies from a heart attack and they're like 400, 500 pounds, it's 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 you don't think they're related at all like you don't think there's any type of correlation to that at all like you just think that that was just completely out of the ordinary like that was oh wow i can't believe it that person was 400 pounds and they had a heart attack wow no dude that's kind of that's there's, there's some correlation there there is some correlation okay and you're upset that people are commenting on that interesting worry that that would happen to my family and then I, I what kind of what kind of shit is this, bro? I, if I die, I'm worried that people are gonna say mean things to me about me on the internet. My family might feel bad about that. What? What the fuck? What is your priorities? What are your priorities? Why don't you just lose weight then? I know there's gonna be some smart people in the comments being like, "Well, if you're that worried about it, why don't you just lose weight?" True. Like, babe, like what the fuck? Maybe why 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 don't you stop being an asshole? Because you're the problem with this is the problem the problem with this is that you're ceding the responsibility that you have on somebody else. If the solution is, I don't want to be made fun of when I die or if I die for being fat, so in so instead of losing weight in order to make myself healthier so this won't be a reason why I die or have illnesses, I'm going to instead call you an asshole for saying that it's a problem. You can't do that. That's dumb. That's stupid. You're literally taking away your own responsibility and you're putting it on the internet to try to, to try to make it seem like we're the bad guys when it's up to you to not want to be fat. You can't blame the internet. It's not even a real person. That's like a, a culmination of like millions of people. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's dumb. That's stupid. You can't blame the entire internet for something that you can you have full control over. And this is like the problem I see so many times. You can't control society. You can't control what the internet does. That's impossible. It's literally impossible. As much as you want to sit there and say, people should be nicer. People shouldn't be saying this. People should be better to other people. I don't give a fuck. That doesn't mean shit. If like there's somebody on the internet that's going to be mean to you regardless. Okay. But you know what you could do instead of complaining about the internet? You can make it better for yourself. You can make it better for yourself. You can give, you could take away the reasons why they would make fun of you for that. Now, granted, there's always going to be something that they're going to make fun of you for. Sure, right? A lot of people make fun of me for being gay, which is fine. A lot of people make fun of me because my nose is long or I don't know, whatever. But that's all right. That's all right. They're always going to find something to make fun of you for. But if this is something that's bothering you this much and the solution is literally you losing weight and then the consequences of that is health and well-being and being better physically and mentally and healthily, I just don't understand how you can cede all your responsibility on the internet and call us assholes when it's all up to you. That's really fucked up and stupid. That's dumb, matter of fact. Babe, like, what the fuck? Maybe why, why, why don't you stop being an asshole? You know, the, the funny thing about this is, is like she's actually being the asshole for saying that it's your responsibility to make her feel nice. Isn't that crazy, bro? I don't even know you. Why don't you stop being an asshole? That, that's actually... Very selfish. It's very selfish. That should be the end of it. You're being selfish right now by not being selfish enough. Asshole. Why don't you stop being an asshole? That... That's actually the easiest option out of those two. No, it's not. What the fuck are you talking about? What? You losing weight versus the entire internet being nice? What the fuck? Where are you from? Are you from like a different universe where you could just control everybody's thought patterns? What the hell are you talking about? No? No? That's wrong? That's wrong? What? In what world is it easier to control the internet than your own weight? Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> this woman's a superhero, apparently. Why don't you stop being an asshole? That, that's actually the easiest option out of those two, <laughs> is for you to just stop being an asshole. Because <laughs> I've spent 20 years of my life trying to lose weight. Most people have. And they're still fat. So it's not just us, is it? And I know 
you know, we have the drugs, we have the surgeries now, but people are dying taking those. People are massively impacting their digestive systems taking those. People are having really bad consequences taking those. Yeah, just keep, just keep going, yeah? Just keep going. I'm not taking the drugs. I'm not doing this. I'm not losing weight because I could literally die from all this stuff. That's fine. I don't think that if you if you don't want to take Ozempic, you don't want to get the surgery, whatever the fuck, that's fine. You don't have to go to medical purposes to lose weight. That's fine. You can do it organically. I don't know what you were doing for 20 years that didn't re that you didn't lose weight. Probably doing it wrong. It is what it is. A lot of people don't know how to do it wrong. Maybe you just didn't have the information that you do now. Do research on it, okay? It's, I mean, I get it. It might be difficult, but it's not that difficult, okay? It's really not that difficult, okay? It might be harder to put down the burger than it is to, like, fucking control the internet. Those. But you know what's fun? And it's just like, it's really crazy to sit there and go, oh, like, people have been making fun of me and I've been trying to lose weight for so long. Okay? Is that going to stop people from making fun of you? If anything, it's going to increase the making fun of you. Is we are so, so like, so fat full because of society <laughs> that we would ra much rather see people damage and in the pursuit of thinness than to live fat. This woman is dumb. And she thinks she said something. She thinks she said something inspirational, but in reality, all she said was just straight up dumbness, just agonizingly stupid stuff. And she's well spoken. She is very well spoken. Her vocabulary is on fleek. Uh, her grammar is nice, you know, whatever. I'm sure she's well written too. I'm sure she can compose a nice email. But the problem is she is lacking critical thinking skills, it seems like. And she's speaking from the realm of feeling, which is not inherently wrong. Like, you should feel stuff. It's just great, fine. But. You cannot, you cannot blame the internet for something you have control over. Like, people are going to make fun of you regardless, dude. And the fact that this woman's talking about you being nice is literally easier than her losing weight is actually insane. This woman is delusional beyond belief. Actually delusional. Like, she has some problems, dude. But I hope her marriage goes well. I hope, I heard that she was marrying a hunk. I heard she was marrying a real, a real just, mmm, you know what I'm talking about? Johnny Bravo with legs kind of guy. Ooh, hubba hubba, looking good, tasty, delicious. Don't worry about the paper behind me. I just noticed that right now. It's not a beat off. I blow my nose. I blow my nose. That's, that's blowing nose paper. I know my bed isn't made. I'm sorry. I was really busy today. Look, I'm coming up with excuses and not make my bed. I could literally get up right now and I could just move it over and... And then you wouldn't complain about it. But that's how organic I am. That's how organic I am, okay? Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of this stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. And I do appreciate tremendously. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I want to thank everybody that's a member and some people that are subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing, beautiful people. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in camels or camel i love camels i love watching videos of them eating cactuses and i love watching them do stuff in general they're really cool people bro super passive i saw a video the other day of a guy in i don't know what country he was in a country with camels and he was feeding a, a camel water and it was great like the camel was just chilling on the side of the road just chilling doing nothing and a guy just walked up and started pouring water in his mouth and the camel was just loving it dude it was awesome i love watching camels receive water even though i think the camel didn't actually need water because i looked in the comment section people were like yeah bro he was good i mean he was just kind of chilling but uh i'm sure he appreciated the water you gave him even though he didn't probably need it which is great you know thanks for feeding that water to the camel i'm sure he appreciated it even though he probably didn't need it but you know what i need from you you know what i need from you I need you to stop looking behind you when you hear creaking noises. I need you to stop looking around when you hear or you see somebody peeking out the corner. That's me. That's me. Because I know it's creepy. I know it is. I know it's a little weird. But I need to gaze upon you sometimes. And I know it's a little bit uncanny. I know that you don't like that. But you are just, you've just been doing so well in the gym and your weight loss journey and the way you're main gaining and the way that you're like contouring yourself every single day. And not just physically. I mean emotionally, mentally. All these things about you are improving day by day. And I can't help, can't help but to look out the corner and see how beautiful you are. And then come back over because you are just too, you're just too gorgeous. I, I need to look upon you. I need to place my naked eyes upon the aura that is you because you are the embodiment 
of growth. You are the embodiment of responsibility. You are the embodiment of doing the right thing. And even when you fuck up, you still find a way to ascend. And that is beautiful. That is amazing. You're working on the water. You're working on the nutrition. You're working on the growth physically and emotionally. That is just amazing. You are doing fantastic, okay? And I am committed. And I, you know what? I think even if you opened an umbrella in the house, you would not receive bad luck because that's how amazing you are. You are anti umbrella in house. That's what it is. Okay. Anyway, guys, we're getting in the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my, all my social medias. It's in the description of this video and the description of the channel, um, Instagram, Twitter, discord, other things like that. So if you want to check out any of those things, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.